Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. Massive episode number 19 of What's Sold This Week. I've got 10 really cool items that I wanna show you that hopefully helps you out there find the same item and make the same profit. If you're into reselling by any means, I'm doing three new videos right here on YouTube talking all things online reselling. I'll do a trip to the thrift on a Thursday. I'll give you my best hints, tips, and tricks on a Tuesday, and then I do this What's Sold video every single Sunday. So if you're into reselling by any means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like as well. It's very, very much appreciated. I'm gonna dive straight into my first item. It was a piece of furniture that I sold on a same day sale. So let's kick it off, it's gonna be a fun one. So this was the result of capitalizing on a really poorly worded Facebook Marketplace listing. This guy was selling an entertainment unit, this one right here, it was an Ikea Best of Burrs. It ended up working out to be about a $40 cost for me, but I also spent $50 on a 52 inch plasma TV, a Sony home audio system, and a DVD Blu-ray player as well. But he literally had the entire listing up with the photo of everything and it said $90. He didn't specify what was what cost, he just put a photo up and said $90. So I inquired and said $90 for the lot? And he said, yes, absolutely. So I've gone around and I've picked it all up. I've put it back into Houdini, the new van that I've got, and uh, I only paid $90. So I've listed them all up individually. This one I only got to yesterday, this entertainment unit. I gave it a quick clean, gave it a quick polish, $40 in on this piece, and it's gone ahead and sold on the exact same day within four and a half hours for $195. So I've profited $155, really not doing anything at all. I just gave it a quick wipe down, took some photos, put it back on the marketplace. And that's why I stress to you guys that furniture is just a great space to play in. The entertainment units, the white gloss look, it's so, so popular, at least where I'm from. But certainly if you're playing in furniture, work out what's selling well in your area and just buy one item. Just go and buy one item, list it, see how it goes, wait for it to sell, and then buy your next item. I'm really excited to see what the entertainment system, the Blu-ray player, and the TV sells for to make this an overall huge profit. But I'm pretty happy already with $155 off the first one. So if you've been watching my channel, guys, you would know that I always place a real importance around speed when it comes to Facebook Marketplace. You've just simply got to go and get it the minute you secure yourself an item. And that's exactly what I did with this guy. I ended up buying this entertainment unit. Yes, I know, another entertainment unit. I've just been doing really well on this piece of furniture lately. Um, I picked this one up for just $60 on Facebook Marketplace. It was in immaculate condition, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it. I always like to get items that you don't need to do any work to. You can just simply go and relist. It saves you time and it puts more dollars in your pocket. So $60, I was happy to pay it. I didn't knuckle him down to a lower price because I knew that I could make a good profit off the 60 and I just wanted to get my hands on it. Uh, and I've gone ahead and sold it for $215. So this was just a really nice solid wood. It had some nice glass uh, doors to it as well. Bit of uniqueness about it. Had a lot of storage space, but it was in very, very good condition. And that's why I wanted to go and grab this item because it looked new. And it also looked like it was a bit on trend as well. I mean, it didn't look old fashioned or anything like that. It looked quite modern, um, so that's why I wanted to go for it. And it ended up selling for, again, another $155 profit for a, an entertainment unit. So this one took four days to sell, a little bit longer. Pretty much the average for me is about two to four days to sell a piece of furniture. Um, so to pick it up for 60, sell it for 215, make $155. That's why I grab these entertainment units because they do sell for a pretty good profit. Next one up is a pair of board shorts um, that I want to put into the episode more for the brand actually. The brand is Visla and it's a really good surf brand uh, here on the Gold Coast. I'm spending a lot of time sourcing and buying board shorts in op shops because we are coming into the summertime here in Australia and they do go retail for 70, 80, 90, sometimes over $100. So I think it's a bit of a hidden gem. I think some people can often dismiss and, and pass the board shorts, but they are a great profitable item to get your hands on. I have grabbed the brand Visla for the very first time, but these were in such great condition that I knew that they would go on to sell uh, for really good value. And I've listed them up for $39.97 and that's exactly what I've gone ahead and sold for. But I do do uh, a bundling in the cost of postage into my overall sale price now. And I've seen some pretty good sales results, so I'm gonna continue with it. I don't mind the free postage model. Um, so $39.97, take out $7.70 for postage, take out the eBay fees that are associated. We're looking at a $24.40 43 profit on a pair of boardies that I picked up for just $2.65. 
So I really wanted to highlight the fact that if you're in Australia or anywhere else around the world, even coming into the summertime where you are next year, um, pay attention to the board shorts and pay attention to the good brands and obviously buy quality. Um, $24 on a pair of board shorts, I was wrapped with that. And this had sold as well within the space of just two days. So a very, very fast uh, sales cycle. Now guys, I just had to put this one into the episode today because it is just such a quick win and something that everybody in the reselling world should be doing and should be looking out for. It was the scientific calculator that I picked up in the op shop for just 50 cents. Now guys, when you find the scientific calculators, they do have different models out there, but they do all go on to sell for some pretty good resale value. And if you're new to reselling, don't pass on the calculators, the scientific calculators. Uh, they do go on to sell pretty well. I whacked this up on eBay for $15. I know it's a small sale, but it just sold so quick. Four day sale cycle, take out some postage for $2.80, fees of $1.95. I've made $9.75 and I've sold this for 15 bucks. So off a 50 cent investment, which is generally what you're buying them for when you're out in the op shops, they do go on to make a pretty damn good profit margin. And in four days, they do also go on to sell pretty quick. So if you're new to reselling, I guess the, the full time and the part-time resellers out there would already know this, but I just wanted to highlight it for the newbies out there trying to get into reselling, look out for the scientific calculators because they do make you a couple of dollars each time you buy them. I've sold this Nintendo Wii U console plus 10 game bundled package. Um, this one's gone on to sell for $260, including postage. The bloke was about an hour up north and uh, he did want postage. There was a big negotiation on this one and I didn't have any other nibbles from anybody else out there. And coming into the Christmas time, I just wanted to get this one done, wanted to get it out to him. Um, he was giving it to his kids for, for Christmas. So I was happy to get the sale done in the end. It had an eight day sales cycle. I profited $56 from it because I did buy it for $180. But I touched on it in last week's episode. I pulled out six of the games that I initially purchased purchase and I'm selling those individually and in case in point was Zelda I sold that one for $70 so while there's only a $56 profit I'm actually making additional profit by selling those six games individually it's a great way to go about buying bulk and then selling by splitting out what you're buying um, you're gonna make more profit at the end of the day so really happy to get this one done $260 profit of 56 from it and hopefully those last four games that I've still got to sell can sell before Christmas and we'll round it out as being about a $200 profit Big thanks to the flippity flop guys on Instagram, Jesse and Tamara. I've been able to go and source these uh, kids' uh, toys basically out of a garage sale for 10 bucks. Wouldn't have bought it if I didn't watch their Instagram. I'll link below as well for you guys to check out their Instagram. Uh, they're a ripping couple and they've got really entertaining content on their Instagram. So thank you very much guys because I would not have bought this item without you. It has gone on to sell for $83.95 it was. Um, so the postage, I haven't posted it yet. It's just sitting over there. I've got to do it tomorrow. But $15 and 35 I think will be my postage cost. Uh, the fees will be $10.90. Um, I've made $47 off some kids' toys for the Christmas time. Uh, it was a pirate ship, two pirate ships, a um, couple of other play toys and some figurines in this one. So a bit of a bundled pack that was a, a really good buy off a garage sale item. Um, sold within 11 days, coming into Christmas. It's gonna be a great Christmas present for somebody out there. Um, and I made $47 profit from it at the end of the day, guys. So a really cool space to play in. It's not something that I normally do and that's why there's other guys out there on Instagram and on YouTube that you can learn off and Jesse and Tamara are two really cool guys to learn off. So go follow them. Awesome to get that result. $47 in my pocket at the end of the day. This next one's a great brand to always get your hands on when you're finding the shoes. Uh, it is the Jordan brand. I found these Jordan rising highs in a trip to the thrift a couple of weeks ago. If you're watching that episode, I found them in a big uh, shoe haul actually. There were quite a few shoes uh, in this uh, op shop that I went into and one of them was the Jordan uh, rising highs. Now these are a size 11. They were in very, very good condition. It had some bubble gum on the sole that I had to spend a bit of time cleaning off, but uh, it was certainly worth my troubles because I bought this for just $5 and it's gone on to sell for seventy dollars, uh, including postage, though. So we, when we take that out and we take some fees out, we're looking at a profit of fifty dollars and seventy cents for a pair of Jordans. Now, Michael Jordan, obviously a great basketballer, got a great shoe range. Um, always in demand for any sneakerheads out there that are collecting the Jordan brand. So if you're not into your sports, obviously you'll probably know of Michael Jordan. Look out for the Jordan shoe brand. Um, pretty much any sort of make in the Jordan range, and there are quite a lot of them out there. Um, are always going to go for quite a bit of money because there are collectors out there that even try and collect all the different shoes as well. So this was a next day sale on eBay as well. So I maybe priced this one a little bit under what it could. 
have been. Um, they were in very good condition. Um, but to look, to make it, I always like to make over $30 when I sell a pair of shoes. So these did sell for 50, so I guess I can't be disappointed with that. Now, I was sifting through an op shop about, well, 47 days ago when I put the sales cycle up in a second, and uh, I managed to find this Tom and Jerry vinyl record from the 1940s. This was just a really cool find. Um, I only paid $2 for it. There was one comp on eBay for a hundred bucks. So I kind of just said, let's just do that because I really didn't have any idea what this thing was worth. Um, so I copied him and I went up with a hundred dollars myself. And in the space of just 47 days after no watches, not too many views, uh, just yesterday, this popped up with a sale for a hundred bucks. So I was absolutely thrilled. When you buy an item for $2 and you go and sell it on eBay for a hundred dollars, you're gonna feel pretty good about things. So I was wrapped yesterday. Um, postage was $10.20 and uh, the fees were about 13 bucks. So we're looking at $76.80 for a 1940s Tom and Jerry vinyl record bought for just $2 in the thrift. So my thoughts around this one is it does spend, uh, it does pay to spend the time to look for the vinyls, to look for the CDs, to look for the books. Um, it's a very timely exercise. It does, you know, you do need to put a bit of work and effort into it. You sometimes don't come away with too much, but every now and again, it is worth your while because you get results like this and it just motivates you to go back out and do it again and just keep finding treasure. You gotta keep digging and hopefully you can find some results like this by doing so. December is certainly the month for selling plush toys, guys. I managed to pick up this Teletubby, Lala, the yellow Teletubby. And I did know when I was at the car boot to pick this one up for $5 that it was gonna sell for some pretty good money. I know that the Teletubbies are worth quite a bit, but guys, really the plush toys are just such a great space to get into at this time of the year. They're a great present idea and they are selling on eBay. I've sold about five plush toys just this week. Um, so I have seen a real spike. I've been collecting them over the last couple of months because I do know that at this time of year, they will sell well and I'm just thrilled to see five of them go. Uh, this one sold for $37.30. So when you take everything out, I've made a $25 profit on a plush toy that I picked up at a car boot sale for just $5. So hopefully that proves the point that they are a great space to play in. Now is a great time of year to be grabbing them. And hopefully you've still got a little bit of time before Christmas uh, to sell them off. A bit like the board shorts, I wanted to put this pair of shorts into the video more for the brand than anything else. It was Kiss Chasey, K-S-C-Y. The brand goes really, really well, sells great. Um, you see it in a lot of the surf shops. Um, I just wanted to highlight the fact that if you don't know about this brand, put it on your bolo list because it does sell for some pretty good money. I bought it in good condition in an op shop for just $5 on a trip to the thrift recently. And within the space of 24 days, this one has sold for its full listed price of $29.99. So when you take everything out of it, I've made $18.40. But I really do think if I find the Kiss Chasey brand at any point along the way when I'm thrifting, I just simply grab it because I do know that there are a lot of people out there that love that brand and they do buy it and maybe not too many people know about it. So I think it is a Melbourne brand here in Australia. Um, if you do come across the brand Kiss Chasey, grab it because people do buy it. 24 day sales cycle, $18 profit for a pair of shorts. So guys, that are my 10 best sales items of the week and hopefully you've enjoyed those. Hopefully you've found a few things that you can go out and find yourself now and make a few dollars from. A few brands in there that I really want to highlight and a few different types of categories as well that are selling at this time of year. So that's why I do these videos. Hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. Let me know in the comments below what your best sales items of the week were. I really love to find out because I go out and I try to find those items myself. It works both ways. Um, so thank you very much for that if you're dropping a comment right now. Um, all right, let's jump into the numbers. I'll show you my weekly sales numbers. I'd love to go through it just to give you that transparency on how I'm going. So let's pull up the map here and we'll give you a good look. I've been able to sell 29 items this week, which if you're a regular viewer of the channel, that's exactly what I do pretty much every single week. So that hasn't changed too much, but cost of goods has gone up to $441.71, uh, which is a little bit higher than normal. And that has resulted in a total sales volume of $1,606.44. Uh, that's a little bit above average for me. I'm generally around that $1,200 mark. So to get it up to $1,600, um, three furniture items this week was a really big help in getting that number up. Um, so I've actually been ended up with a profit, guys, of $1,164.73. So the profit margin for me was 72% this week, and I actually did 72% last month in its entirety. So sort of nothing's really changed there, but I've been able to just sell some really cool furniture pieces this week, which has bumped my numbers up to 1606. 
Um, so look, I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with the profit of 16, or sorry, of $1,164. Because like I say on this channel quite a bit, I really wanna average at least $1,000 profit every single week. So I've given myself a little buffer there for the month of December by going at 11.64. And it is only 10.20 in the morning on a Sunday right now. So I'm really hoping that I get a few late sales that come in and that can even bump up to about $1,300 uh, in profit for the week. That would be fantastic. but. Um, look, a bit of a recap for you on my week. I guess this week has been no different to any other. It's just the time of the year and I'm starting to see a few more sales come in. Look, furniture was uh, quite slow for a real period there. And I was actually gonna come to you in today's episode and say that I'm really not going too well on furniture. But then in the space of one hour uh, yesterday, I sold two entertainment units within the space of 60 minutes. Um, so I can't really say that furniture isn't selling after those results, but um, certainly everything else, um, all the bric-a-brac items, all the clothing, all the shoes, all the plush toys, all of that's starting to move at this time of year. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the way things are going to keep that average above $1,000 profit every single week. Things are heading in the right direction. You've just got to keep working hard. I'm working every single day. I'm listing every single day and I'm promoting my listings on eBay as well, which is causing, I think, an increase in my sales numbers um, on eBay, which has been great. So. Big week, uh, any questions, please let me know, not only through the comments here on YouTube, but send me a DM on Instagram as well, at The Aussie Flipper. I do try to speak to everybody on all platforms, whether it be Instagram or YouTube. If you've got any queries about furniture or anything else, just let me know in the comments or through a DM, and I'm happy to have a chat with you. Um, really want to just help and inspire people out there, so feel free to get involved in the chat by all means. Um, that'll do me today. Uh, it's been a great episode. hope you've got a lot out of it. I've had a fun one doing it. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next one. We'll do some hints, tips, and tricks uh, next Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in to this one, guys. We'll see you later.